Hello and welcome to the Squeaky Clean Dave YouTube channel. In my last video I unboxed the Panther. Uh, since then I've had a lot of people say to me, can I put some footage up of it actually in use? So today I've got four jobs booked out. I'm bringing the Panther with me on all four jobs. I know there's a couple that have definitely let me film them so I'm going to see how I get on with them. Uh, and we'll take it out, give it a, a go and see how it performs. Also in today's video a lot of people ask me do I use the customer's power? But well, I'm going to answer that in today's video as well. So let's get cracking and see how we get on with this first job. So the first job we've got to do today is a new build. It's this one here, just here. Uh, it's I actually got a picture of it on my website before they moved in I took a photo and if you look at my website in the pricing guide I've got a photo of that house uh, which is a bit of a shock really so it's a new build as I said won't be a lot in there uh, but unfortunately for her she lives next to that great big tree there so that's filled up the gutters with leaves so she's just asked me to give that a suck out so we'll get cracking and see how we get on with it finished uh, there wasn't a lot in there but they were big leaves so oh, this is the sort of size of the leaves in there wasn't a lot but they were blocking the, the downpipe uh, the panther didn't really have a lot of problem with it sucked it all out no problem all clean and nice now so uh, let's crack on with the next job That's the second one done he didn't really want me to film it so uh, I said I wouldn't um, but it was mid terraced uh, didn't take too long um, see if I can have a quick look out the window. Uh, that was the house. Uh, I did get a bit of footage on the uh, on the uh, gutter vac cam, so I'll see what that comes out like. And we're off to the next job now. Now the next job is a gutter clean and a gutter repair. They've just got one gutter coupler bracket, whatever they're called. That uh, the rubbers come out, the gaskets come out. So I'm going to go and repair that, empty all the gutters out, clean the windows, and we'll see how we get on with that. So I turned up the next job. Uh, I've got the gutters to empty front and back. That's the uh, the front. Uh, there's a junction halfway across there, um, somewhere. There-ish, uh, that leaks. Uh, the gaskets come out of the junction, so I've just got to swap that over. So I'll clean the gutters out front and back, and see how we get off. And so it goes, tables turn in your own. One of the most common questions I'm asked about gutter vacs is do I plug into the customer's power or do I take my own? Well, if at all possible, I plug into the customers every single time. But there are the odd time when you just can't do that. They're not gonna be in or working during the day or whatever. So, and I don't work weekends, so I have to take my own power. That was the original reason that I uh, looked at the Panther. I already had this generator that I've got here. Um, it runs at uh, a continuous power of 2,800 watts, so it's plenty big enough for the 
panther, but it wouldn't be big enough for the Predator. To run the Predator, you need a 5.5 kVA generator. Now, the difference between that and this, uh, just from a quick Google search, this one comes at about 34 kilograms. A 5.5 kVA generator comes out at about 70, 75 kilograms. Now, if you're working by yourself, which I do, that's a lot of weight to be lifting in and out of your van. It also takes up a lot more space. So having a little Jenny like this is really handy when you team it up with the Panther. Uh, the other thing is with the Panther, when you do plug it into the customer's power, you can actually use a much thinner cable on your extension lead. Um, because you're drawing a lot less power, then it doesn't need to be as beefy as it does for the one for the uh, Predator. But you should always uncoil the whole of your extension lead whenever you plug in and use an extension lead um, because the cable can get very hot and cause other problems so always uncoil it. The other good tip is to use an RCD. Now that little device you just plug your extension lead into that and then that plugs in to the socket and that will just protect the circuit for the customer. If there's any problem with your vac that should go rather than affecting your customers. So, so anybody that's been watching my channel for a while will know that I normally bring my dog to work with me. So we're stopping for lunch time and there she is. Just out for a, a little walk in these woods here, uh, not far from where we're working. Uh, this is Hunter. People have said to me, why'd you take your dog to work? Surely she's bored in that van. She actually loves it. I even have to put her in over the weekend because she enjoys being in there that much. But she always comes out for a work, walk at lunch. And uh, yeah, does us both good. Clears your head a bit getting out and not concentrating on window cleaning. Let's carry on. So they were chuffed to bits with that last job. I cleaned out the gutters. I changed a coupler along the gutters. Uh, the gutter has actually pulled along, so I couldn't pull it back towards it because it was, uh, I think it pulled across onto the next door neighbor's junction. So I put a new uh, coupler on, which was wider than the one that was on there. So it spanned it no problem at all. So I got that done. The windows were horrible. They were those ones with the horrible black gaskets that bleed. So. Uh, that got all over the frame, so I gave that a clean off with some wild wool and some pink stuff. And that's come up really nice and she's really, really happy with it. So the first three jobs I've done today, they've all been about mm, 10, 12 metres. Uh, now the next job I'm going to is 85 metres of guttering. So there's the house and then there's a gla granny flat as well. It's uh, about half 12 now. Uh, and like I say, quite a big job, it gets dark early at the moment, so I'm going to go on, go out there and see how I get on with the, with the panther, see if it gets it all out.
get a bit obsessed with the uh, vacuums really, can't we? I started sucking that out. I suddenly thought to myself, it'd be quicker to empty that by hand. So that's the end of the first day with the Panther and what did I reckon to it? Well, absolutely fantastic little machine. For the size of it, it's got amazing power. To start off with, I wasn't sure if it was working quite right, but then I realised it's such a quiet machine. It's uh, amazing, it was really sucks well. That last job, it was brilliant. It's 85 metres, full to the top with leaves, no problem at all. There was weeds and all sorts growing in there, took those out, no problem. Didn't get blocked once. The only thing that there was a problem was that the drum's quite small, 37 litres. Not tiny, but you know, most jobs it'll do, but with that one with so many leaves, it will, it does fill up quite quick. So, but if you've got a small vacuum, then it's going to fill up uh, quickly. So if you are interested in a gutter vac, give gutter vacuum systems a ring. They will talk you through everything you need, second to none with their customer service. So if you've enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out my playlists, as there's a whole playlist on gutter vacuums. And if you haven't already done so, hit that thumbs up button to say you like the video. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.